Hey guys, thank you for coming back to the channel. It's another day. Um, sorry, but there won't be a vlog for yesterday, for my birthday yesterday. Um, I just didn't fancy uh, getting the camera out. I just wanted to be, you know, present in the moment and enjoy myself. Um, we went rock climbing in Fairham. Uh, my forearms, my back, my legs hurt. So yeah, that bit really hurts when I do that. Oh, yeah, we all smashed it out. Uh, and then we went to the Rancho's Steakhouse afterwards and we all just had the unlimited ribs. Um, I had like seven racks, everyone else had like six or five. Um, me and Yusuf demolished, we had that little competition going on between me, Yusuf teaming up and Sammy, his brother and Grant. Uh, we absolutely destroyed them so <laughs> you don't know. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to carry on today's vlog. Um, this will be, hopefully, the last part of fixing my oil leak. Um, my mate works at a tool hiring place, so he's actually sorted me out with some big Badaman tools. So hopefully I can crack that bolt, finally. Um, I'm going to try and do as much as I can today, guys, so just bear with me. Um, a little... My body's aching, but I'm going to start my morning. I don't even need to tell myself, guys. You already know why I start my mornings. Um, I don't always go to Costa just to go to Costa. I actually get the chance to um, just look at all the comments, guys, and reply to all the comments. Um, I've been enjoying reading all your comments and the interaction, so just keep it coming. I appreciate the support. And um, obviously, sometimes I won't be vlogging every day, so if you guys want to check it out, what I do, you know, like behind the stages or whatever, just make sure to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. I'm always posting stories and always updating you guys on what I'm getting up to so let's just get today started again and I uh, hope you guys enjoy today's video so I've gone for something different uh, today I normally get the sugar free caramel latte but I've got the gingerbread thing um, so I'm gonna sit in Costa and just reply to all your comments and then I need to head to the tool shop and get that tool I need to go to Halfords or B&Q and find myself some Loctite um, to you know to remember to put Loctite on that bolt so it doesn't move um, but apart from that, that's all I've got planned today. Hopefully it gets fixed. Um, the arches will take like 5-10 minutes. I need to find some sealant just to whack it on there and make sure it stays there because I don't really fancy um, them arches flying off now and then have, having Jeff to source out some more. So I need to get that done. I need to get it clean and I'm leaving home for Dorset this Sunday or Saturday. I'm not sure. Um, I'm still going to be vlogging for you guys because I'm meeting up with Zach. If you guys remember him, Zach, Brett, um, all them car people. So there's still going to be car content and still going to be vlog stuff. But obviously guys, it's you know, nearer to Christmas time. So I understand that it's, you know, it's about family time it's about you know hanging out with your friends and making memories and that and I know YouTube is about making memories that's why I'm doing it but just bear with me during the Christmas holidays I will be vlogging as much as I can so um, keeping you guys um, updated on all that stuff so quickly uh, reply to you guys and uh, carry on Bro, who even parks like that? What is... Um... <laughs> Shall I put this guy in slander? Look at that. I thought my parking was bad. I was just sat in there and I was... It got me thinking, like... I've been doing that routine, like, since I can remember. Like, always going to um, Costa, getting my laptop out and I'm um, having a coffee. Um, that's my morning routine. I just wanna ask you guys, like, what's your morning routine? What do you do, what do you guys do every morning that sets up your day? Because the way you um, intentionally set out your morning is gonna set out your whole day. I don't know if that made any sense, but like, if you have the intention of having a good day, um, a positive mindset, um, you know, believing in yourself, all that good stuff, um, if you start your mornings like that, then you're more than likely going to have a really good day because no one wants to wake up thinking, oh, I feel like shit, I'm going to have a shit day, stuff like that. So um, feed your mind with positive affirmations, do a morning routine that suits you. It could be going for breakfast with a mate or going to the gym early in, mo early in the morning, just whatever it is, have a morning routine and then just just keep doing it and um, it's all about repetition if you want to be consistent about what you're doing um, you have to have ha good habits so that's just my message of today um, let's not waste any more time I'm about to pick up this big Badaman impact tool so I'll show you later when we get there I've run into a little issue so I've got the tool that's the impact tool and then transformer and extensions lead 
you might be thinking, what's wrong? But um, I've ordered the wrong size because um, the socket size of that bolt is 15 mil and the size of this fucker is 25 mil. Look at that, that's massive. So I don't know if there's a 25 to 15 mil socket converter or something like that, but I'm gonna have to uh, try and fix my fail and go to Screwfix and see if they can pick up, if I can pick up a socket if if it even exists. So that's my life. Failure is my middle name, so I learn from my lessons. In the future, not to get the fucking, the big bad boy because that's too big. That's like, that's heavy duty stuff. All I'm trying to do is crack a little bolt, so. <laughs> So I'm now at Halfords, hopefully they'll have the socket that I need to fit that fucking boost. If not, I'm just gonna have to keep driving around tool station or screw fix, I'm just gonna have to keep driving around. And um, if all fails, then I can't do it today. <sighs> I'll probably just do my archers, I think, because that's easy enough. How can I fail at that? So while I'm at Halfords, I might try and get some sealant as well. Oh, my days, I wasn't even drinking last night. I feel like my mind's all over the place. So, uh, Fail. Why does this have to happen to me? <laughs> I just want to fix my oil leak. I think it's a sign saying, well, this is your fault for taking so long, but I've bought myself a breaker bar. Um, we tried using a breaker bar, but it wasn't a breaker bar. It was like um, a gym pole that just had a hole in it that we put um, through the ratchet and stuff. So I've bought that breaker bar. Uh, so yeah, uh, sorry guys, I'm just, I'm just a bit pissed off. <laughs> it's funny that I say that because like earlier in this vlog I said that if you set out good intentions for the day um, nothing should go wrong and um, I had a positive mindset this morning and yeah it happens doesn't it so it's, it's the way that you, you um, react to it I mean it's it's done you know I'm just an idiot sometimes so I can't help it that's just me so I'm back at home now I'm gonna try and fix it again with the breaker bar and hopefully crack it I just want to do it uh, cars are overrated, or I just don't have the skill, or the mindset, or the brains. Rip. And, um, don't do a me, don't do shit, but I was getting ready, I was gonna jack up my car, and then I managed to misplace my locking key, my wheel lock key. Um, so, I thought, YOLO, why not just smash up one of my sockets and wedge it into place? and get it off because I want to try and do it today. I failed a lot already today. I'm not having the best of luck guys to be fair. I'm keeping my head up but uh, we'll see what happens. So I've got to make sure that that socket is wedged in to the locking wheel nut and uh, I never thought I'd use this but go hard or go on. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh my god. I did it. Woo! It's off. I don't recommend you guys doing this, but if you ever lose your wheel locking nut, um, you have to find a socket that's just big enough, but not too big, but something that you can wedge into your bolt or nut. And just hammer it on like I have, and it should come off. Um, unfortunately, I managed to damage that bit and inside but it's off now I can actually start my mission which was to uh, fix that oil leak but I ran to a problem it's done now that's off learning from my lessons just don't bother ever getting these locking wheel nuts because I will lose shit I just lose shit anyway I have ADHD so yeah but whew. That's one thing done. Look on the positive side of life. Um, let's just keep going. Um, it's still dry. Keeping my head up now. Finally got that done. I'm so happy. Uh, yeah, I, know, I never thought I'd be using uh, one of these on my car. But yeah, guys, that's a top tip. Um, I think I might be able to get another Halfords one because I think they have life lifetime warranty because I don't think I'll be getting this uh, two separated anytime soon. So let's just get on with the, with the fix. Alright, we're back. 
back here again. I'm going to put some WD-40 on that. Um, I've, I've bought an actual breaker bar. Uh, hopefully it'll come off. Fingers crossed. Right, so I'm at that stage now um, where I can actually use this. This is the puller to pull this pulley off. Right, I'm at this stage now. Hopefully everything's right. I'm just gonna tighten this and that should release the pulley, hopefully. Oi oi, check this out. Ready guys? It's off. It's finally off. Look at that. I'm so happy. Right, let's keep going. So I don't want to keep vlogging guys, I just want to get this over and done with. Let's see the damage. See if it is the crankshaft seal. Doing all this work for a seal that might not even be bad. I'm pretty sure. The residue looks like it's coming from this, so I guess we'll just have to find out. Sweet! 